On the menu, grilled crickets and fried spiders with a side order of snails. Some of the delicacies of remote northeast India. This is snail collected from the pity field. You have to eat like this. First, the bottom side. Like that. Then later on, you have to eat like this. Linked to the rest of India by only a narrow strip of land, the northeast has long maintained a food culture all of its own. This village of 200 residents in Meghalaya has resumed cultivating local millet, which was at risk of dying out as people opted for state-subsidized rice. A few years ago, all this millet uh, disappeared. But uh, now, most of the people uh, understand how all the price of the food from the other country, they come, they, from all the village, they come, it's a high price. So they realized to cultivate it again. This fair, supported by the global slow food movement, is designed to promote the region's culinary heritage. But standardized diets are posing some risks to these traditions, and many recipes have never been written down. Why the production is uh, difficult? Because uh, the, the knowledge of how these uh, snacks are made are just being passed through by mouth, verbally, from mother, from grandmother to mother to mother to child. That's the thing. Without efforts to preserve them, there are fears that century-old ways might disappear, putting the villagers of Nongtrao on the front line of the battle to preserve regional food varieties. <laughs>